Hey guys, Booligan here with Booligan Airsoft and Airsoft Insider. Taking a look at a project I just started building a new space GAD. This is the Echo One AR57, which you guys may recall is a replica of a real uh, AR15 variant that utilizes P90 magazines, top fed, and shoots the, um, the same round that the P90 shoots. Line that up, that would be very beneficial. Mag changes are usually a little smoother than that. But the gun itself isn't what we're looking at. You can see my video review on that gun long, 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 long ago on the channel. What we're looking at today is this awesome stock and foregrip set um, from SRU. SRU, as you guys may know, is the company that manufactures pretty interesting like bullpup conversion kits and things like that. I have one on my gas blowback SCAR L, and they have this kit for gas blowback rifles, you may notice this is an AEG. So they came out with a new kit that has a different grip, a different stock uh, attachment setup, so that you can use it on AEG platforms. It's got a little ventilated adjustment base there. And how their whole kind of design ethos and like all their construction, everything is 3D printed. Um, it allows them to quickly whip up prototypes, see what works, see what doesn't work, tweak it as it goes, and then eventually release it to the public. This set is priced around $100 for what replaces a stock, a grip, and gives you this cool um, foregrip. So it's a lot cheaper. It's obviously you know very similar to like the Hera Arms kit, only I like this guy because it's A, it works on AGs, um, and I just like the angular kind of straight edge look of the thing. Look at the stock itself. Um, how it attaches, it slides over either your buffer tube or a little adapter, which we'll take a look at in a second, and then screws in just like you normally would mount a uh, normally mount a grip. Um, like I said, at the bottom you've got a removable plate. Uh, we've got a, a large adjustment screw at the bottom. You have a rail back here for like monopods or flashlights or whatever you want to put back there. This thumb hole design is actually very comfortable. Um, the crossbar doesn't like hit your wrist or hit, I mean, a little bit there at the bottom of your hand, but it's not uncomfortable. It's actually, this whole setup is very, very comfortable. It doesn't attach at the stock at all. Um, all it does is it slides over your buffer tube. If you're running a rear wired AG, it comes with a nice little piece that screws in, and then you can use this whole back section for a battery compartment. Um, you can see in, it's got a nice little channel in there to fit wiring and things like that. Um, and your access to it is very easy. It just kind of pops that cheek rest off and on. Um, the butt is attached with some screws, comes with all the hardware for that. And this is actually two pieces. You can see kind of the seam line, um, and you can see really close, like the 3D print lines on it. But it's a fairly high resolution print job. I've got no complaints. Um, the only minor quibble, the only like printing error that mine has is right here in the web. Because of how this prints, it just is a little rough and I had like one kind of loose strand there. But I'll just hit it with a heat gun, press it down, it'll be fine. Up front, you have a foregrip that matches that same design attached with two cross bolts and it you can run it all the way at the front of your rail um, in my case I'm running it back a little bit and I have a nice little tack line up there um, this is also kind of a perfect position for me um, you know when I aim this gun like I normally would so they have this kit again available for AEGs as well as for gas blowback rifles I don't have a gas blowback rifle but they sent over one of those kits for me to test out um, so I'm actually going to be testing it out on my real AR-15. We'll do another video on that one later. Um, but yeah, for the AEG kit, um, this thing, I don't believe it's actually out to the public yet. They just sent one over for me to test out. Um, so the final model may have, you know, a little cleaner lines or things like that. But um, so far, honestly, I really, really like this thing. How this mounts is super solid. I have no concerns of this thing, like, breaking or anything like that. Um, the crossbar is solid thick i think we printed this thing at like 100 percent fill um, it doesn't feel hollow at all it's very very solid and it's quite narrow 
Um, I had a couple people comment when I posted this on Facebook wondering, you know, if, this, if you have a good big battery compartment in here and you don't. It's only, you know, probably like 10 to 15 millimeters thick back here. It's, it's thin and it's solid. Um, so for this gun, I've got some more things in mind. I've got a new muzzle device being 3D printed as we speak. And while I do like the see all sight here, it's green fiber optic, kind of space age setup, I've got a much cooler idea in mind for uh, aiming this. So stay tuned. Like I said, there's gonna be more evolution on this as it goes. Uh, but for now, if you want to add an SRU uh, AEG or gas blowback kit, um, I'm definitely signing off on this thing. They did a really good job with it. I've been really pleased with most of my SRU products that I've tested out. Um, and this one just put, went right on. No muss, no fuss, and it just works. Um, it's available in a couple different colors. This is the olive drab version because everyone knows olive drab is the spaciest of all the colors. Uh, but if you want something a little more traditional, tan, black, they've got it. So stay tuned to much more from that and SRU in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.